I use my phone to help me in class. The music on my phone gets me pumped for my daily run. My cell phone keeps me entertained throughout my boring school day. Texting enables me to communicate with more than one person at a time. Uh, Larson, why'd you just text me? I'm right here. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't see you there, but I just got a super cool phone. Check it out. Oh yeah, super cool. And you still couldn't even notice me? I'm right here. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of bad. But this does have a bunch of new features. You can tell the news, the weather, it'll wake you up in the morning, and it also lets you know when to go to sleep. Oh yeah, does it go to the bathroom for you too? You know, that just seems like a bunch of needless distractions, wouldn't you say? I mean, it's just like phones these days are distracting everyone. Did you know 95% of Americans have cell phones mm -hmm. and they spend at least 90 minutes a day on them? Mm -hmm. That doesn't really seem like that much time. Well, actually, it adds up to 23 full days out of your year mm -hmm. that you're missing. No, no, that can't be true. It's true. Let me show you. Look around you. Everybody here is glued to their phone screens. It's ridiculous. I mean, Henry right there just bumped into you and didn't even notice. He didn't even say sorry. I can't believe I got in trouble for cheating. Like, I just got an important text that I had to answer. It's simple as that. I'm not a bad kid or anything. They're not just a problem in classes, but between classes, too. <laughs> but I don't even use my phone at school. Yeah, but it's not just at school. Phones are making their way into our home life as well. I mean, just think about it. How many times have you used your phone at the dinner table? Yeah, you're right. It's taking away from our face-to-face -face interactions. Nicholas, Elena, could you please get off your phones? I'm on level 30. I'm almost done. Chill. Ugh. Just, just one second. This group chat is blowing up. Whatever, Elena. Seriously, Mom and Dad? You're like 50 years old. Your only friends are each other. Who are you even texting? Um, actually, I'm 49, and I have a lot of friends. I'm trying to catch up. I'm texting your mother. This is ridiculous. Cell phones are such a distraction. My family can't even get through one meal together without staring at their phones the whole time. It's ridiculous. What could possibly be that fascinating that we can't get through one meal together? See what I mean? Yeah, I guess you're right. And did you know that 32% of kids say that they feel unimportant when their parents are on their cell phones? Yeah, that's, that's actually pretty sad, but it doesn't affect them physically. Well, actually, being distracted by your cell phone can lead to a life or death situation because you're not paying attention to your surroundings. ran through an intersection. Um, she was on her cell phone. Um, and of course, I don't remember anything, but my father said that I hit the brakes. Um, I smashed them hard and I slid. Um, and then I laid down the bike right before I hit the car head on. When I laid the bike down, I was going so fast that the force flipped me over the bike and I hit the door. Um, just my full body um, implanted into the door. And I was medevaced. Um, to a hospital in Asheville, North Carolina. And um, they sent me into emergency surgery where they discovered that I had shattered my spleen 
I um, had bleeding in my brain. I damaged my lung cavity. I broke my ribs um, and I broke my leg in three places. They put me on life support uh, because I was not stable enough to breathe. I know that emotionally I've really struggled um, just with depression and um, just different areas like that. And then um, of course physically because I did have many injuries um, and that has really limited what I can do in life right now. And a lot of people think, you know, oh, you're in an accident, how are you doing? But I think that even though I was hurt physically, my family and friends were really affected. One text message is never worth a life. I'm in favor of laws that will make sure that we pay attention to what's happening on the roadway that eliminates texting and driving. Think about it for a minute. The person that's killed may be your mom or dad, mm -hmm. your brother or sister, or your best friend. I finally see what you're talking about. Although phones are beneficial, they're a very big distraction as well. Well, you know, Larson, I'm glad you finally see it my way. You're probably the only person that does. It's like everyone else is just blind to the facts. What do they not understand? I don't get it. Sometimes I just want to take their phones right out of their hands and throw them on the floor and stomp them and smash them into oblivion until there's nothing left. Oh, man. You gotta relax. You're right, but they're still helpful. Yeah, I know. It just frustrates me. Cell phones are very helpful, but no matter how helpful they are, they're just a tool. They can't be the focus of our lives. So we need to put down our phones, have face-to-face -face interactions, and be aware of what's around us. Because phones have already replaced our cameras, our calendars, and our alarms. Don't let them replace you.